Hey guys, Elliot here from Muck Off. I'm back here with another video to show you today how to use our new puncture plug repair kit. Now as riders, there are inevitably times when you're gonna be out for a ride, whether that's road or trail, and you get caught out by a puncture that any sealant just won't seal. And with our puncture plug repair kit, those days are now a thing of the past. Inside the kit, you're gonna get one of these tough stainless steel tools. This doubles up as both a reamer and a plug and also has a durable handle on the top, which makes it compact and lightweight. You get two different sizes of puncture plugs, which will seal multiple holes and covers you for a variety of different size punctures. The kit comes complete with a tough Cordura pouch, meaning that you can keep everything nice and secure together for when you need it the most. The tool itself is obviously a sharp object, so it's got a rubber fitment on the top just for safety. If you keep it inside the pouch and inside a saddlebag, you're gonna be well covered. Although this tool is obviously designed to keep you covered for when you're out on a ride, for the purposes of this how-to, I've got two pre-punctured tires behind me, and now we're gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna start off with this MTB tire that I've got here. Now you can obviously see there's a pretty big stone already impaled into the tire, and this has created a hole which is just too big for the sealant to fill. First thing we're gonna do is remove the source of the puncture. Now, just be careful when you're doing this in case there is anything sharp inside the tire because you obviously don't wanna cut yourself. For a larger hole, you're only initially gonna to need to use the reamer section of the tool. Insert the tool down into the tire, up to the reamer section, and then move that backwards and forwards just to roughen up the edges. This is gonna allow the plug to create a better seal when you go ahead and put one into the tire. Once you've gone ahead and roughed up the inside of that hole, all you need to do is take one of the larger puncture plugs. Once you've got one, pinch the end down, thread it into the very end of the tool, and pull it all the way through until it's about halfway. Simply aim at the hole, press down until the puncture plug is around halfway in. To remove the tool from the tire, simply twist the tool a few revolutions whilst holding the sides of the plug down and then pull slowly out. If you happen to be carrying something that allows you to trim the excess off, you can go ahead and do so. If you don't, you can just do this when you get home. When you're trimming the excess off, just be wary of the tire so you don't take too much off. With the hole in the tire now plugged, I'm gonna use our CO2 canisters to reinflate the tire. Once you've done this, give the wheel a few rotations to get the sealant flowing, and then the wheel is good to go back on your bike. If you've got a smaller puncture that requires a thinner plug, you'll again need to remove the source of the puncture first. If you're using the thinner plug, simply insert the plug into the very tip at the end of the tool. You obviously don't want to run the risk of damaging your rim or your rim tape, so on a low profile tire, just apply the tool in at an angle and this is going to minimise the chance of any damage. Insert that down into the puncture hole until the plug is around halfway. Make sure you don't insert the tool any further than when the reamer section of the tool starts. To remove the tool from the tire, twist the puncture tool a couple of revolutions, then hold either side of the plug, pull down with your fingers and pull out slowly, leaving the plug in the tire. So as you can see, it's a nice and easy way to keep yourself secure and safe for any time you get caught out on the trails. If you want all the down low as far as our full tubeless setup, be sure to check out muckoff.com.